Okay, so it's Friday evening. I'm about to get in a 60 minute run which I'm gonna to plan to kind of stay in heart rate zone two as much as possible for it. There are a few hills on this route that I'm doing tonight, so I'm expecting it to jump quite a bit at times. And my pace is probably gonna be a lot slower than usual, but to be honest, I don't really mind at the moment. I'm trying to focus more on, well, the majority of my runs, trying to focus on picking routes that have a few hills in them. That way then I can kind of try and get my legs used to the elevation that I'm expecting for the Ultra Spartan race. I haven't been able to find any kind of like detailed information in terms of the elevation and everything for the Ultra, but based on reading someone's blog and kind of their experience with it, they said total it was kind of around 3,000 meters. So if that's anything to go by, then I need to start incorporating a lot of hill work, even just getting some work on just walking up hills, um, maybe just getting on a treadmill, setting into incline and walking for an hour or two, just to kind of get the legs, glutes and everything else prepared for that kind of elevation so yeah that's the plan tonight it's gonna to be an hour in total over 8k into this run and one thing I'm really starting to notice is kind of not pain but soreness in my knees and ankles because of the uneven terrain and you know it's one thing to kind of just go out for a road run and it's on a pretty flat surface but when you suddenly change it up and you've got hills you've got downhills like this one it suddenly places pressure in different parts of your body so that's why I was kind of keen to get a lot more of this kind of running in just to get used to turning on the ankles and the knees everything really hips because I know the ultra is going to be so important for well, completing the race basically obviously when it comes to half Ironman not so important but fitness I build now doing this should pay off as well for the half iron. Okay so that is tonight's one hour run complete. Covered about nine and a half K in the hour, so a 6.17 average kilometer pace, which isn't too bad. Average heart rate was 143 beats per minute, so kept that quite low, which is what I was aiming for. Did walk a few parts of the hills at one point when the heart rate did jump, so that hopefully brought it down as well. Elevation gain, according to Strava, it was about 110 meters in total. There's so many gnats about, it was a nightmare on the run. But yeah, it was good to kind of just run and see how my body felt after a run like that. Right now, as I said on the run, certain areas such as like my glutes, knees, ankles and all that they are feeling it a little bit just because I'm not used to running on uneven terrain, taking corners, and downhill, uphill, all that kind of thing so it's something that I knew I needed to do and I, I need to incorporate a lot more of during the week and if I can do this you know twice a week during the week and then use my weekend long run to incorporate some more hills then I should put myself in a pretty good position for the Spartan Ultra to complete it. Like I said before I'm not looking to do an incredible time it is more just to complete the race and give it a good go so yeah that's tonight's run complete beautiful evening 25 26 degrees i mean it'll be nothing like this in scotland in september but it's still nice to kind of get some training done in this weather these gnats are doing my head in now so yeah i'm gonna head in i might do a bit of core now quickly before uh chilling out for the evening and getting tomorrow's well the weekend's workouts in so that's tonight's run done
just finished uh, the bike workout for today. 42K covered in an hour and a half, elevation gain of 255 meters, so not a bad ride. It's the first ride I've done in a week, basically. Went for a bike ride last week in Cornwall and covered, I think it was a similar distance, but the elevation was like 800 meters, um, so it's about two and a half hours in total. And then, yeah, last week we didn't really do much training apart from that. I did a Sunday long run, which was about 16K. Again, bit of elevation on the coast. Apart from that, it was just a lot of food and a lot of booze in Cornwall. Um, so it's good to get on the bike today. It's, it's boiling today, so I basically just shut all the windows, didn't use the fan, and just absolutely sweated one out for an hour and a half, which was great. Okay, workout number two of the day. Gonna do a upper body session to begin. Gonna be bench press to start and then gonna go to deadlifts. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do after that, but it'll just be some isolation exercises. Finish with some core um, and also a bit of stretching at the end as well. So that's gonna be tonight's session. Let's get into it. I'm So we're gonna end this video with a bit of drone footage. Recently picked up a drone off Amazon. It was a prime day deal and I couldn't resist. I've been after one for a while, so we're gonna get up in the air now. So yeah, it's a good sunset tonight. So, I'm gonna get the drone up there. Brother, let me be your shelter. I'm now. 